Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Daniel and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm doing a review of Coffee Sock. I've never heard of reusable coffee filters or coffee sock in this instance until I was watching a video of sustainable alternatives that you can use to replace things in your daily life. One thing that I'm currently doing in my life is trying to find replacements to things that I buy, use, and throw away on a regular basis. And coffee filters are definitely something that I buy, use, and throw away every single day. And after using coffee sock for about two months, I would definitely say that this was a great replacement to the coffee filters that I've been using. So some of the claims that Coffee Sock makes as to why it's such a great product are just listed right on their box. Coffee Sock is organic, made from certified organic cotton. It's economical. Pretty much the idea is that I have these two coffee filters that cost 15 bucks and I use them for my Chemex where I normally buy what 100 filters is almost $20 and I buy that every three months. So yeah, coffee filters aren't the most expensive thing that I'm buying over and over again but now I don't have to buy them at all because I have a coffee sock that I can wash, clean, reuse over and over again, and I imagine that they will last a fairly long time. They claim that they're great quality, which I would definitely agree. This is a pretty good cotton material. They claim that the material that they use brews a really good quality coffee, which we'll get into that in a moment. They're durable, they definitely are. They're simple. Uh, it's a sock made out of cotton that you use to brew coffee. I'd say pretty simple. They're green, they're renewable, and then their last claim is that they're they're soulful. I guess, you know, if it makes you happy to brew your coffee in a sock, then absolutely. So now let's move on to the most important part because it doesn't matter if this thing is gonna save the planet or whatever if it brews a crappy cup of coffee. So let's go ahead and brew a cup of coffee with coffee sock, and let's just see how high of a quality cup of coffee it brews. All right, so something to note before I go ahead and take a sip, the coffee sock does allow more through the filter than a Chemex filter, because the Chemex filter is a finer filter. I already told you that I've been making coffee with the coffee sock for the last two months, so I'm not gonna be surprised whatsoever by the flavor. but it is a dang good cup of coffee in my estimation. I weigh out my grounds and measure the amount of water that I wanna use because I want to get that perfect balance. I've also have not done that and just eyeballed it and you still get a good cup of coffee. I just think that being precise makes a better cup of coffee. It's honestly its own unique pour of coffee. It's not exactly the same as whenever you use the Chemex filter. It's not like a cup of coffee that you get out of an office coffee maker. It's not like the Keurig, it's not like the espresso. It's smooth, you don't get any big particles in it, but it also has more to it than whenever you use a Chemex filter. But yeah, obviously I'm gonna keep using the coffee sock. I've been happy with it. So now that I've made the coffee, I've raved on about it, let's talk about the actual negatives of the coffee sock. So here is the biggest, most annoying thing about the coffee sock. Whenever you go ahead and dump your grounds into the compost, the grounds don't just magically fall off the coffee sock. As you would imagine, they stick to the coffee sock quite a bit. So whereas before I was taking my Chemex filter and throwing the whole thing in the compost, now I'm kind of dumping the coffee sock upside down and trying to shake the grounds off. And then I rinse a lot of the grounds down the drain at the end of the day. So the pro is that I can still dump the grounds in the compost and get most of them in there. And I'm not buying coffee filters anymore 
but the con is that I have to do a little bit more work. Besides that, I haven't noticed any other negatives about the coffee sock. It's just been a little bit more of a hassle to dump the grounds into the compost. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my review of the coffee sock. The coffee sock has a few varieties of sizes and kinds of filters. Just make sure that if you grab a coffee sock that you grab the one that fits your needs. As always, if you had a good time on this channel, if you found some useful information here, go ahead, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more content like this coming at you, if you wanna see my face more often, hit that subscribe button. As always, there's useful links and information down in the description below. I can't wait to be with you next time, but until then, happy brewing.